Legionella replicate to high numbers in warm stagnant water, such as that found in hot water tanks, cooling towers, large air conditioning systems, and whirlpool spas. Legionella is not passed from person to person. Instead, infection is by inhaling droplets of contaminated water from these sources, and people may be exposed to Legionella in the home, the workplace, hospitals, or public places. Legionella are internalized into a phagosome by patrolling alveolar macrophages. Legionella makes a secretion system encoded by the .ICM genes. Signaling proteins, or effectors, secreted through the .ICM system prevent phagosome maturation. Phagosomes containing Legionella recruit endoplasmic reticulum-derived vesicles. This vesicular trafficking is unique to Legionella and is called retrograde transport. The fate of the phagosome has been altered. Host vesicles contact the phagosome containing Legionella and flatten. Finally, the phagosome is covered with the ER vesicles. Effector proteins, such as RALF, that are secreted by the .ICM system assist ER vesicle recruitment. Changes in membrane thickness represent lipid protein flux between the phagosome and vesicles. Ribosomes are recruited to the phagosome containing Legionella. Once Legionella is inside an ER vesicle, it is hidden from lysosomes. Now that Legionella cannot be destroyed by lysosomal attack, it multiplies freely within the ER-like phagosome. Legionella undergo a developmental change become motile and exit the host cell using an egress pore. Spread within the host occurs through cycles of phagocytosis and multiplication. Specific interactions between surface proteins of listeria and the epithelial host cell occur. This strategy allows listeria to cross tissue barriers and proliferate in protected niches escaping clearance by circulating antibodies, complement, and neutrophils. Cellular receptors are activated by interaction with internalins, such as INLA and INLB. The cell membrane ruffles up and listeria enters the cell by zipper-type phagocytosis. Listeria synthesize listeriolysin O and phospholipases. LLO, a pore-forming toxin, is targeted to the vacuolar membrane and perforates it. PLC aids vacuolar membrane disintegration. The vacuolar membrane has disintegrated, so listeria are released into the cytoplasm and multiply. LLO is targeted for breakdown by several mechanisms that have not been fully elucidated. LLO does not wreak further damage in the host cell. Listeria synthesize ACT A, a protein that forms multiple interactions with cellular proteins, to make a scaffold for actin synthesis. Bacteria replicate freely but are constrained to one cell. Following the cell division, polymerized actin is associated with only one pole of the bacterial cell. This propels the bacteria in one direction. It is called actin-based motility. Listeria reach the cell membrane using actin-based motility. Propelled by actin polymerization, the bacteria push into the cell membrane, resulting in a protrusion called a listeriapod. Cell-to-cell -cell movement of listeria occurs when a neighboring cell phagocytoses the listeriapod, thereby allowing spread of listeria without exposure to antibodies or other immunoactive molecules. Phagocytosis results in a double-membrane phagosome that contains listeria. Once again, listeria needs to escape, so it secretes LLO toxin and PLCs, and the process is repeated. Infection is by inhaling droplets that need only contain three bacteria. This is an incredibly small infectious dose. Most infectious diseases require more than 1,000 bacteria for successful infection. Sneezing is the most effective transmission mode, as bacteria remain airborne in small droplets for hours. Mycobacteria advertise to patrolling macrophages by producing proteins that interact with many host cell receptors. The arrest of phagosome maturation is a clear pathogenic determinant in tuberculosis. Mycobacteria prevent phagosome maturation using LAM, a mycobacterial cell wall lipoglycan. 
by a process that has not been fully elucidated. Acidification fails to occur and bacterial death is avoided. Phagocytosed mycobacteria induce a localized inflammatory response that leads to recruitment of mononuclear cells from neighboring blood vessels. T-cell activated macrophages attack infection sites, which results in the pathology of tuberculosis. Tubercles, cheesy white lesions, or caseation necrosis, are the hallmark of this debilitating disease. Mycobacterium tuberculosis can persist inside these lesions because they are hidden from the cellular immune response.